What's up guys? Classy Metal here. Uh, it's been a couple weeks, probably going closer to three weeks. Uh, I apologize for the lack of content. I just haven't uh, felt up to recording. Been dealing, you guys know I'm a little crazy anyway, and I just kind of been dealing with, with some things and just haven't really felt up to it. And I didn't want to uh, just record and uh, if, if I'm doing a video and I'm not into it and I'm not feeling it, it will come across to you guys and uh, it won't do anything that I'm trying to show any justice. I show you guys things that I'm passionate about, things that I like, and I, I want to be in a good headspace when I show you guys that stuff. So I felt it was best just to take a little break. Um, wasn't planning on doing this video, but my Metalhead box uh, arrived today. I had no idea that it even shipped. Uh, apparently, I missed the uh, shipping confirmation email, and uh, it was a nice little surprise. I was in desperate need of a nice surprise, and it was a solid box this month, and uh, it just arrived right at the perfect time. So uh, I was already familiar with a lot of the stuff that was in this month's box. That's another reason that I could uh, go ahead and do this video today when the when the box arrived. There was one album that I did spend a little bit of time with. Uh, it was very enjoyable. We'll get to it in a little bit. But everything else I was pretty, pretty well uh, familiar with. So that being said, you guys know that I've already, as I was saying, then I've already opened it up. I get the all format version, so I don't get the fancy little envelopes and stuff that uh, some of the people get. In the all format version, I get a vinyl record, a cassette tape, a CD, and a shirt. Uh, those are the guaranteed items, and then sometimes they put extra little freebies and stuff in that as well. I do the all metal uh, version the all the all genre I don't do a genre specific uh, only thing that is if you're not familiar is they try to cater what they can like music wise to your particular genre you will still get some stuff from from other genres but uh, they try to cater what they can the best they can to your preferred genre so that being said let's just jump into this month's box um, first up We've got, they've been doing these uh, little tribute patches uh, lately, and there's been some very solid ones. Uh, the one that we got this month is uh, John, uh, frontman from Dissection. Uh, the, he passed away in 2006, and for me, this, this patch is a little bit morbid. Uh, I don't know if it was meant to be that way or not. The way they did it in the circle uh, with that in, in behind it, the little... Uh, star looking things back there because the guy he uh he made a circle of candles and uh and, and offed himself right in the middle of that of that circle so uh, it's, it's a bit morbid to have that little circle patch that design but hey i mean that's a i guess that's a metal way to go uh next up we got a tribute pin uh this month and it is from the band over it took me a second I mean, it should have when I when I first looked at it, I should have known right off the bat. Uh, it triggered familiar familiarity um, to me when I saw it. it. It just my brain hasn't been working uh, that great for the last couple of weeks. So when I saw this, it took me a second. I pulled this off the shelf. This did not come in uh, in this month's box, but I wanted to show you guys what a great job. That they 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 that they do with these pins and how it matches up with the artwork. Uh, this is the Nat Natin's Madrigal. Uh, I'm not going to try even to pronounce the rest of the album title uh, from over. They did a really good job as far as you can see uh, the the artwork kind of matching up with the CD. I know there's a bit of a glare from my light in back there, but. As you can see, uh, they, they do a fantastic job with these tribute pins, so I just wanted to kind of show off the, the quality and stuff that uh, that pin has on it. Now the meat and potatoes, what I, what I really get this box for. It's always nice to get the patches, the uh, the pins, sometimes you get autographs, just the, the little freebies, little extras, little bonus items are fun stuff, but this is the what I really pay the price of admission for is the t-shirt and the music. Uh, we got a Drowning the Light uh, t-shirt, and actually this is the second uh, Drowning the Light shirt that I've gotten through uh, Metalhead Box. This one is Moonlit Sorcery. I haven't followed this band as much as I would like to. I enjoy 
everything, uh, just some top-notch black metal. Um, and I've enjoyed everything that I've heard from them. Uh, we got a shirt, and it's been years and years ago, so I don't mind like doubling back now on bands uh, that I've gotten shirts before because it was pr at least probably five years ago when that Drowning the Light, that first uh, Drowning the Light shirt came through, and I remember getting paint on it at an old job of mine. That's the only reason I know that it's been so long. And so uh, I definitely don't mind having a new one now because that one got the paint on it. Uh, the one, uh, next we'll get into the music. I'll show the CD first. And this was the one release that I was not familiar with out of the three that I received. Uh, this is Bacterial Husk with Anthropogenic Ruin. Uh, this is some pretty phenomenal death metal. Uh, this actually does not release until later this month in October, uh, officially released anyway. It's the debut full length. Uh, they had some demo materials and stuff that, that has come out from this, but I believe this is the first uh, full length from this project. They've been uh, they've been they've been around for a few years now, uh, doing the demos and, and uh, EP work. But this was a solid solid slab of death metal. Uh, from everything that I've heard on it, I haven't spent as much time as I would like to, obviously, being that I just got this today. But it has that old school uh, death metal feel, definitely has that going on. One thing that I really enjoyed uh, from what I've heard on this album so far is the uh, kind of dual vocal attack that you get on this. It gives it like this kind of punch. And uh, I guess you just it's something that you just have to hear to actually understand. If you've heard this album, you probably know, you can kind of visualize and, and, and know what I'm talking about, but just this dual vocal attack that they hit you with, it works really well with the music. The uh, the the musicianship, there's, there's riffs for days on this. I mean, this has all of your classic death metal riffs going on on it as well, but the that vocal attack is definitely one of the things that uh, definitely draws me in on this album. I definitely want to spend some more time uh, with this. I will probably have this in the car in the morning, and my son and I will be listening to it on my way to dropping him off and me going to work. But it's got the chugs, it's got the riffs, it's got the vocals. Uh, this seems just to be a, a, a full package of uh, old school death metal, and uh, I'm digging it. So definitely looking forward to spending some more time with uh, Bacterial Husk. Uh, next up. This one's funny. Uh, actually, I shelled out, uh, it's probably been about a year ago now, for an original press of, of this album on CD. And it wasn't long after that I, I ordered that and I paid what I did for it that uh, Sewer Rot Records announced that they were doing a reissue. I said, well, that's just my luck. I went out of my way to hunt this album down, paid for it. And they did a reissue. I hadn't picked up a reissue. They reissued it on tape and on uh, CD. Because since I already had the OG press, I just I didn't go out of my way to uh, pick up a repress. But on the tape this month, I got the repress. This is uh, Victims of Internal Decay. Uh, this is the self-titled. It is the only full length that this band ever put out. More death metal, uh, old school death metal. This is the epitome of old school death metal. Came out in 1993 originally, and as I said, Sewer Rot uh, reissued it this year in 2023. Uh, the tape comes on this uh, nasty looking red shell, and uh, pretty solid looking stuff. They, they stayed very true to the uh, the original that uh, I guess I could have pulled that off the shelf since I pulled the over album out but you see that that's not something that's just going to jump out to you as far as the artwork goes but you got to remember that this has been out for uh what 30 years so i mean uh things things are a lot different uh now than they were back then but it, this is a phenomenal release if you have not heard this i definitely implore uh that you check out victims of internal decay uh, i've been in love with this album since i discovered it and i think a lot of you if you haven't heard it already, uh, you will feel the same way that I do on that one. And then the record this month. Uh, a lot of times I get some obscure stuff and you get new music and stuff that you haven't heard uh, before. Uh, this is definitely not the case with this one. I got one of the uh, Relapse Records uh, death reissues on vinyl. 
Uh, this is the Human uh, reissue. Human is ranks up there with one of my favorite Death albums. I'm kind of in the minority in the fact that uh, The Sound of Perseverance is, is my favorite Death release. I know a lot of people were not... Uh, we're not fond of kind of the the overly progressiveness that that was on that album. Uh, Human, they get super technical. Uh, it's, it's a nice little mix of uh, technical death metal and um, old school death metal together. I have it on CD now. I have it on vinyl. Uh, killer looking stuff here. The variant on this looks pretty awesome as well. It's called uh, Custom Butterfly Splatter, and, and it kind of makes sense. When you see the uh, the actual record, it has like that butterfly feel with the splatter going on. I think it's like gold uh, translucent butterfly splatter is what it's called. But a uh, pretty neat looking uh, vinyl variant on that one. So sometimes you get the the colored vinyls, sometimes you get the uh, just standard black, and uh, I, I'm fine either one. As long as it has the music on it, I'm good either way. But I'm pretty impressed with with the music. All three albums that uh, that I received in this month's box were just some killer death metal releases. I've been on a death metal kick uh, as of late. If you follow my Instagram and stuff, you guys you guys already know that. I uh, got a black metal shirt, uh, black metal tribute patch, and kind of a folky. Uh, black metal pen so definitely went the the route of extreme uh, this month but that's the thing when you do an all genre uh, all format box everything's a surprise and the fact that this showed up without me even knowing that it had shipped yet was another surprise so hopefully um, this is the kind of motivation I needed to get back on doing videos there is so much stuff i want to share with you guys i'm always behind and i do apologize to that i just i get a little burnt out the the cd collection videos can be overwhelming uh can be a bit of a chore and then i i, I start feeling guilty because i'm neglecting other stuff that people have sent me and it just it snowballs and it makes it hard to keep the motivation going for recording uh that being said i am going to uh Tennessee Metal Devastation Music Fest uh, next Saturday, the 14th. So I will be there. I hope I, I hope I meet some of you guys there. Definitely feel free to come up and talk to me and all that good stuff. Uh, next Thursday, Fear Factory will be in Memphis. I haven't made up my mind if I'm going to that show yet or not. But if I do make it to that show, uh, same thing goes there. If you're, if you're there and you'd like to come up and say hey or whatever, uh, definitely feel free to do so. That's all I've got for this. As always, Metalhead Box is linked up down in the description. And uh, if you want to go check them out, see what they have to offer over there. They've got all different kinds of versions and, and kinds of boxes that you can uh, customize and pick the way that you want it. But they're always linked up down there in the description. That's all I've got for tonight. Stay classy, stay metal, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys soon, I promise.